Hey guys. Oh gosh, guys, it's so funny. I mean, no matter how many people watch my videos, it will show half of my actual views or less. Uh, it's, it's disappointing, but I've learned how to have a sense of humor. Does that make me a narcissist? That I've learned to accept the fact that I'm always going to look like I'm not doing something when I am doing something. Oh my God. I'm the stone that drops in the puddle that puts the ripples out there. And then everybody else gets the credit for the stone, but that's okay. I'm very used to doing shit and not getting credit for it. I don't like it. I like getting credit. I, I like giving credit where credit's due too, you know? It's hard when people hold grudges against each other. I was trying to listen to... Um, Drafting the lies, and I'm just like she. I, she's sitting there going, "Oh, that that guy's got a horrible. He's got a terrible mouth. He's disgusting." And then she's like, "Fucking this, fucking that." I'm like, "Are you serious?" So when I'm listening to a video, if I don't like the sound of their voice after two words, I'm done. I can't listen. I don't have time. It's weird that I get my news from basically only two channels. Um. I mean, I should be watching more new or whatever. I don't know. It's like, to me, I don't like to watch the media. I don't like to watch mainstream media and all that shit, okay? I don't even know what's what they're putting out there, if it's real or not. I mean, we really don't know. And um, so I just think it was really interesting the way Ernie uh, was so happy today. He was like singing and dancing. And he said he never danced. He's like, I never dance. I never dance. But I'm going to dance today because he was so happy. You could just tell he was so happy. He just felt like he'd won something. It just seemed like he was po like he was positive that he had this in the bag. And he goes, I've been playing y'all the whole time. Um, you got to wonder about everything. You know, I hope so, Ernie. I hope you're not lying about that. I hope this is a big, long ass sting. I really do. I really want this to be where Ernie wins. And Ernie's plan and his sting operation with all the people that he's involved with, they they did it somehow. What is doing it? It's getting rid. How are you going to get rid of all these trolls that are part of a trafficking scheme and a big trafficking cover up? You know, I mean, that's pretty hard because the tra and thank God for um, Liberator. Yeah, that channel I was on there today with those guys, they're really cool. They, they seem very smart and on top of what's going on. I was so relieved. Oh, my God, what a relief. These guys are smart. Uh, it was great. I was like, oh, wow, this is great. They know about the trafficking ring. They know about it goes extends it the whole way beyond. I mean, they know. So that was a thrill for me. Not like that the knowledge is good because it's the worst thing in the entire universe. That they know that when this comes out, it's going to shock the shit out of everybody. I was just so glad they weren't hiding it and covering it up. God, thank you. Some Southerners who aren't covering up a damn ring. Just kidding. I, I am actually happy to. I, I'm going to admit it, okay? Most of the Southerners that I hear seem to be, except for Ernie and his crew. And there's a lot of people on Ernie's crew seem to be covering up a lot of this. Anybody who refuses to look at it, who acts like it isn't happening. I kept talking about Candace's baby with BK on, um, I kept saying it. And they're like, people are just like, I don't know if they're reading it and ignoring it. I don't know. But he said it so many fucking times. I mean, I am not going to let this go. Am I supposed to? He said it too many times. I don't think he did. If he, if it wasn't true, if there was no, no one would ever think there would be a baby produced between the relationship of Benny Keys and the Wells family. No one would ever think that, right? But there it is. But we all know they had sex, okay? We all know that apparently I wasn't there. So I can't say for sure, but apparently it's a pro it's no common knowledge that BK... The Baphomet hermaphrodite blood money hitman seems to be working for the CIA or FBI or he's a CI, something like that. I don't know. These are undercover agents or something. I'm not, I'm not you know, a CI is an undercover agent of sorts. You know, BK is definitely a part of the cover up cop plan. They don't want anyone for, for when Ernie Shell showed that text where they said we're going to. I've been hired to shut down anyone who talks about the trafficking. They they screamed at me. BK and his his clan 
<coughs> he came into Dolly's chat once and screamed at me. Are you a conspiracy theorist? Yeah, proudly, you fucking asshole. What are you, a moron? Are you stupid? Oh, can't think of anything? Don't question anything? Is that because you're part of it? Okay, gotcha. Anybody who thinks the word conspiracy is bad is part of the fucking moron hood. The hood of morons. That's where the hood, that's where they hang out. In that hood. The morons. The morons. On, Anu. King Lord God, Draco Reptilian, Overlord, who apparently has died, but his queen is still alive, trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Uh, maybe she loved him. I don't know. There was supposedly a grieving process, according to Kim Gogan, the draconian queen, I don't know her name, who was married to Lord Anu. Antu? No. Is it Antu? Who's Antu? A-N-T-U. Antu. She's someone. She's the mother of somebody. Um, on to maybe she's Enlil's mom. I don't know. So the queen is the mother of Enlil, who plays the role of Jehovah, and or uh, those the god the big the big ass god of those three religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. So uh, yeah, that would be Enlil. Okay, he he likes his tribes, which are different from each other, to fight. Why? Does Enlil like it a fight day? Ah, uh, well, he like it a blood. He like a taste of the blood. He like a watch of the people die. He likes to see the people die and the soul get extracted upon the upon the the war field. Okay, the battlefield. That's what Enlil is into. He likes fighting. He likes to see people dying. He likes blood and guts and gore, like that king in that movie with uh, what's his name. The, uh, the big warrior, you know, the big guy, the big stadium warrior battle guy. What the fuck? I can't, oh my God, my brain. You know, that movie with, um, what's his name from Australia? And he's, uh, he's the gladiator. Gladiator! Remember the scene with the sister and how the king was obsessed with his sister and there was this whole incest thing? Mmm, gross. Glad that's not me. I mean, maybe I've been in lives like that, but I'm I'm leaving all that shit. I am. I'm stepping away. I'm getting out of psychotic, cruel engagements if I can. Now, you you only step up to get you you step up only to find more demons, right? And you got to fight bigger, badder, worser demons, just like playing a video game, right? Every time you you pass the first level, you got to go in, and it gets harder and harder, right? So why do I only listen to these two guys, basically? I only have so much time in the day. I can't spend, I don't spend all day online. I do spend a fair amount of time online, but um, I, I'm not, I'm, it's active. And also, you know, whatever. I, I mean, it used to be, I had to be online for work, which I still have to be online for, but now I'm not hosting, losing money every night. I was doing rock solid for over two years with my business. And it was awesome. And it should be growing, but it's not growing because the succubus, the damage of the trolls. They want to destroy you because you don't agree with them and they want you to shut up if you're going to talk about trafficking, you motherfucking bitch. You know? Don't you dare expose our evil trafficking ring, you bitch. Arr, I'm going to destroy you by screaming in the phone. Oh my effing God, change your ways, motherfucker. Change your fucking ways or fucking bugger off. My sister, after my mother died, she got these letters she refuses to share. She won't send them to me. It's been two years and she still, she says she doesn't have enough time to read them. Well, she sits at their house doing nothing. Okay, she's just... Passive aggressively. She is the queen passive aggressive narcissist. She does earn a, a sort of crown there, you know, as a goat woman. She likes goats. She loves goats. I've never loved goats. Never. Never. I always thought their eyes were weird. I'm like, what is with your eyes? You know, why are you looking at me sideways even though you're not sideways? Weirdo goat. I love goats. Go ahead and love goats. Love all the goats you damn want, okay? I don't actually like them that much. It's not like I'm fine with them. Goat milk, goat cheese. Yes, thank you. I 
appreciate the cute goat. I've pet goats. I'm not saying goats aren't cute. They're problematic. Why would you pick a goat to be your... See, that's what I don't get about that whole Baphomet. A goat head? That's what you chose to be the head of your queen? A goat? Like, where's the power in a goat? I mean, a goat? What does a goat do? It climbs rocks and produces some milk that isn't a cow. What, what, what is the big fucking deal? Why would you choose a goat head to be the head of your queen image? It's just, it's so weird. You know what I mean? Like, what? Seriously? A goat head? That's what we've been dealing with all this fucking time? A goat head? That's what you want is a goat head with a, on a body with breasts and big strong arms and big fucking thighs and a penis and a goddamn womb? Come on, people. Gross. Ew. Come on. Come on. No way. Jose. And poor Jose. Oh, boy. That guy was so... He'd rather die than go to prison. I wonder what happened to him. I never believed him. Never. I mean, maybe parts of what he said, but I always thought he was involved. I'm positive of it. No, he's not. He wasn't there. He was fucking there, bitch. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was, bitch. And if you don't realize that, even though it's been stated a million times, you're an idiot. So shut the fuck up. I don't care what you think. He wasn't there. He was fucking there. Fucking grandest. Fucking living in the fucking trailer, son of a bitch. He had that family wrapped around his little finger, you fucking assholes. Are you stupid? He was there a long time ago. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. If you don't see the truth about this case and who was involved, your stupidity isn't going to ruin my day anymore. Hopefully. Oh, I'm sure it will. Are you stupid? Of course he was involved, you idiot. I cannot believe what I was just told today but on uh, the Liberators channel, who are very nice, very smart. Thank God. They're nice to me, so I like them. They love Ernie. They're good with me. They're good with me. Hopefully, they don't all turn on each other. I have not turned on anyone. I could have turned on Ernie when he treated me like shit over the hat thing. I could have, but I didn't. Why didn't I? Everybody, all those haters expected me to. The trolls all expected me to fall into their lap and turn on Ernie because of the weirdo, wacko way the whole hat thing went down so far. It's not over yet, but, you know. Um, I could have. I know better. And it doesn't matter because the cows, like I said, I'm used to people not getting me right away, not understanding who I am yet, um, assuming things that aren't true about me, assuming face value shit, assuming I'm like other people, which I'm not. You know, I have to work, I have to wait patiently sometimes. Maybe he treated me like shit and ghosted me to somehow protect me from something. Maybe, it's a good fantasy. I like it. I'm like, yeah, he did it. He was mean to me to protect me. Talk about making excuses for bad behavior. Hell yeah. But you know what? Maybe it's right. I don't know. Whatever. It didn't swerve me. I was so, because I thought he was going through some kind of fucking mental breakdown. And I'm like, oh shit. He's going to lose that hat to the wrong hands. No fucking way. And he just seemed so different. He like didn't care. He's like, I don't care. Take it. Take my DNA. I'm like, what? It's not you. It's not like you. What is this? So either it was a little act of its own, it was a little staged setup of its own, it was part of a bigger plan. Who knows? Plans keep shifting when they don't work out, right? Did he know what he was doing? Did he know who's behind all that? Does he know that the hat might have a horrible curse or two or three or seven on it? Did he know that? Is it true? Is it true that his hat had a fucking curse on it or seven? And that whoever wore that hat or touched that hat was going to somehow start to die slowly or something like that? Who knows what the fucking spells were? I wasn't taking any chances. Don't be mad at me. You should have been... You should, if, you, if you weren't... If you, <laughs> yeah, the whole thing was weird, the reaction. You should have been glad I'm cautious, but no. So that's weird. But still, why do I stick around? Well... Sometimes I'm just like, I'm so used to sticking around. You just hurt me, but I'm so used to sticking around. I'm going to sort of weirdly overlook it and see if I could. You know, it's kind of weird. It's like 
when you get bashed. It's like when Dolly was finally talked into uh, or paid to tell me, oh, I'm not in love with you. I'm not this and that. It's like, did I ever tell you I was in love with you, dude? Do you really need to say that to me? Do I'm an, I'm an adult woman. I'm a grown ass woman. I could kick your butt. I really could. And you probably love it, but I could still do it. And you're a youngin to me in a lot of ways. You know, he didn't have to say that. He knew that too. I think so. Deep down, I think he knew. But there he was, you know, and I'm like, wow, what a bunch of manipulators to make him do this. I, I kind of wondered if he was going to do it, like stoop and, and do this stupid thing. And I didn't think he would. And he tried to get out of it. He really did. He tried not to do it. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to waste his time. He kept saying to these stupid bitches, I don't care what Team Rose says. She can say whatever she wants. Everything was about him. I was promoting him. I was talking about him. I was sharing him. I was telling, I was everything. To him, it's all good. He always liked me, always. He never didn't like me, but that group of bitches, they, 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 they staged all this fake fuckery to try to get him to hate me. They tried very hard. I, we, we all watched it. They would send him things during a show that were so odd, that made it look like I'd said something really bad and, um, you know, to make him hate me. And, it, you know, uh, he had to, he, it was like, he was bombarded, you know? Oh, it was awful. To watch that go on, it was so sick. You bitches, fuck you, fuck you. You think that was funny? Finally, and he never really gave a shit or gave it credence because I think he knew better. I think he watched my videos. He could see I'm not this horrible person. I don't say mean shit about people except for the people who have har harmed me. And I still won't even use their names. I use Jimmy's name because I, I'm, not, I'm not attacking Jimmy, you know? But, you know, it's like, did you really think you, because I'm making videos about you that you have to tell me? It's like, take your medication. Why don't you take your, I do take my medication. And did you, did you tell me what I should take since you seem to be my doctor all of a sudden? They're all telling me to take my medication and get help. All of you can fuck off for that. Do you think you won points saying that bullshit to me? Take your medication? I take the same medication as you, asshole, without the stupid heart medication. That's where you're effing up. But yeah, that was painful. I'm sitting there listening to this abusive bullshit, waiting. Because I knew that once I pulled out, they'd turn on each other. Because bitches always do. Ah. So they turned on each other. Um, you know, and then Ave, Avery, because, because Jimmy took away all the wrenches to shut everybody up. They were fighting without me there for weeks. They were fighting amongst themselves. I wasn't even in the chat. I stepped away to see what they would do. I already knew a bunch of people hated certain people or one person who caused a lot of trouble. And so I watched to see what happened, you know? And I, I kept making my videos. I wasn't gonna tell them. They, these, the group kept saying, she's saying bad things about us. All this absolute bullshit. I was saying bad things about the bitching and the blocking and the timing out. This one guy was up there the other night. He was like, why are you timing me out? I feel like I'm in kindergarten. And it feels like that. And it's just bullshit. It's, it's like, you know, whatever. Because that guy, I don't think was saying anything bad. He was just asking questions. He wasn't doing anything. But people get sort of mod crazy and mod insane. So, you know, we worked through it. Basically, there was a lot of people in that chat who liked me and they missed me and they want me in there, you know? And the only way for me to communicate my thoughts and feelings about it was in my own videos. And it did matter to me. Why? Why? Because Jimmy mattered to me. Why? Because Jimmy was awake and he was talking in the middle of the night, making jokes. And he saved my fucking life. And I'm not the only one. You know, weird how that works. He's not even all good, you know, but he's there. He's talking. He may not even realize the importance of his fucking voice. Maybe not. But I'm here to tell him what it is. And I'm going to work with him. And he's working with me back. Oh, yes, he is. You know, he saved my life. He didn't even try, but he did. He saved my life. And honestly, the people in the chat who liked me and liked my comments and literally paid 
to hear me speak also saved my friggin' life. Suddenly, after being completely dismissed by my own fucking angry, narcissistic, loud, you know, gorgeous, powerful, amazing, intelligent, asshole, bitch face siblings at the time, I'm sure they were wonderful before. Maybe they're nice again. I have no idea. Not gonna, not risking it. I'm sick of being screamed at by someone who tells me I'm doing all the screaming when I wasn't doing all the screaming. He was doing all the screaming. Oh my God, what a fucking nightmare. The guy's out of control. Insanity, does he know what he did? Does he even know? I feel like he doesn't and I have to explain it to him because I think there's a chance in that guy for him to grow a little bit, you know? He could have been a divine masculine man if he hadn't fucked it up with his mother. He probably thought he was but he didn't, he was too stupid to, to care about the essential thing, which was the mother-daughter relationship. I, I can't believe it. I still am in shock. No, bottom line, nar narcissist or not, you don't rip a mother and a daughter apart. I was accused of ripping a mother and daughter apart, which is bullshit. By the scaggly wag, horn dog, orgasm addicted youngest who, you took my mother away from me, screaming and yelling. What a stupid bitch. Why don't you grow the fuck up and help you, bitch? Why don't you stop screaming and telling everybody all these lies about how Jack Ryan took my, took my mother away from me and get your fucking pants on, make a fucking soup, bring some fucking bread and help me take care of our mother. Help me do this. Help me do this. Why are you abandoning me and screaming at me and writing thousands of emails about how I took my your mother away from you? I need help. Help me. Help me take care of our dying mother. I'm doing this alone. Don't you get it? No, they don't get it. No, they don't get it because they're so selfish. This is how crazy. Our mother is dying. The only person willing to take care of her is shit on because none of them wanted to. You, nobody supported you, damn. Oh, nobody supported me, motherfucker, middle brother, you son of a bitch. You didn't support me, you son of a bitch. And yet you took over my life and you decided how long I had to drive between me and my dying mother. You motherfucking asshole. Cocksucking prick from fucking hell. And nothing, nothing less. And nothing more. That is it. That is you for what you did to your mother and me. A motherfucking cocksucking prick from fucking hell. Okay? Let's repeat that one. Motherfucking cocksucking prick from fucking hell. Okay, son of a bitch? That is you, no matter how tall you are, no matter how handsome you fucking are, no matter how many girls throw themselves at your fucking cock, you are a motherfucking cocksucking piece of shit prick bitch. Or whatever I said. You are. You are. Now, if you walked in a room and I was in the same room, I don't care who knows what about what, he will dominate. He will win and all the ladies will throw themselves at the motherfucker and it will make me sick while I sit there watching with my empress codes and my ancient self being horrified at how stupid these bitches are. And if they only knew who he was willing to sleep with and how much he was willing to lie about it. If they only knew how vicious and brutal and abusive he was to the only person his mother felt close to, just because he didn't want to drive an extra half hour. Take your opinions and shove them up your ass with all the other yummy little things that go up your fucking ass, you pervert. He literally thought my mother liked being changed at that nursing home by that tall fucking African guy the nurse at the night, that night. I was like, I'm sorry, but I gotta get my mom out of here. Nothing personal. This isn't about race or anything like that, but no, sorry. And I, there was a lot of male nurses and there's a lot of male nurses now because they need the fucking money, you know? But there was just something about this one guy and it had nothing to do with anything other than just and Linda saw, and we were like, oh, God. I literally think Linda died before she had to go through that. She was not going to get stuck in some fucking nursing home. She would rather die. And so would my mother. My mother would rather die, too. But she she got trapped. She got trapped, and, and the life was the last thing she wanted was what she got. Why? She gave so much. She really did. She gave a lot. 
She gave a lot to a lot of people. A lot of people loved her. Why did that happen to her? What did she do wrong? Did she do something wrong? What was that about? Why? You know, you, you, you work your whole life trying to achieve something. A good death is one of those things we should be achieving. The reason I talk about it is because I still don't fucking understand it. How can I process something and get over something without answers? I said to these people a thousand times, I can't process this pain if you don't tell me why you did this to me. My older sister said, no answer, no answer, Ugh. no answer. Then shove it up your ass, bitch. No answer? You ripped my heart out? You destroyed years of my life and our mother's life for no answer? Fuck off! Don't you ever put your fucking name in my email again, bitch! Don't you mention my children or my offspring, you fucking C-U-N-T! No answer? Ah! No answer? I'm your sister! I gave you all those phone calls. I did everything for you. No answer. Take your brain and melt. It's already cotton candy. Melt that cotton candy. Melt into the fucking ground for all I care. Go become a thicket for your goats. Full of thorns, bitch. Fuck you. No answer. Take your bullshit, manipulating, conniving, passive-aggressive, motherfucking, cunt causing vicious, abusive shit and shove it in the ass of yours that you're so... My family's obsessed with ass. Who isn't, right? Ass, ass, ass. We all want to... Every... These men... I don't know what it is. Ass. Why? Ass. Ass, assin. Ass, assin. Anu. Anus. Anu. A-N-U. Anus. A-N-U-S. On us. What does that mean? Who runs the show? Have you ever heard of the Pindar? What does that mean? Pindar. P-I-N-D-A-R. It is the penis of the dragon. They just cut off the snake head. The body is flailing. Is the heart stop beating yet? Where's the body? Do we eat it for dinner? Who are these fucking people? I hate her. My hate is deep now. Did I need to feel hate? That was stupid. Really? You didn't think I'd ditch you, did you? You didn't think I'd leave and you wouldn't be able to abuse me anymore, did you? No, they took me for granted and I'm not sticking around. They want to take everything they can and they think it's mine. You know what? All of you go fuck yourselves. All of you go fuck yourselves yourselves, but not in the good way. Fuck yourselves up the ass, but not in the good way. I don't want you to have any enjoyment out of your fucking of yourself. I don't care what you think. I am done with you narcissistic bitches and witches and covens and fuck faces and warlocks and all your black magic shit. Gone, motherfuckers. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, Ernie Schell said that he was in a dumb as a kid, one of the dumbs, the D-U-M-B-S's, deep underground military bases. That is what this bitch is about. The deep underground military bases. Stop hiding it, fuckers. Not Ernie. You know, he's playing what he's got to play. He doesn't say what he, all this shit. That's no fun. Who do you work for? The fleur-de-lis is a Merovingian sign, symbol, part of the Illuminati, baby. Mary Vangien. An, Anu, Mary, Mary, Mary. We know who Mary is, right? Isn't there two Marys, two or three, four thousand Marys? How many Marys are there? A couple are really important. Maybe two tree, two tree Marys are important. Bloody Mary. Mm. How many Marys do we got? Well, there's mother of Jesus, then there's the wife lover of Jesus, but they're not the same, right? Because that would be weird. Wait, are they? They could be. Damn. If you think about it. The mother of Jesus, brother of Judas, also twin brother with Thomas. Who the hell is he? Well, in my world, we won't talk about those people. But Judas and Jesus, he brought it up. 
I thought that was interesting. I'm kind of obsessed with that story as well. Why? Because I don't believe we're being told the truth about the Jews, Judas and Jesus story. Maybe Judas tried to get Jesus lured into becoming a vampire so he wouldn't die on the cross. I don't know. I can't make these videos too long. I'll do a part two. I'll be back. Love you.